Understanding Home Ownership Rate, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into an important and interesting topic, home ownership rate. This phrase might sound complicated, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. Understanding this concept is crucial not only for those interested in housing and economics but also for anyone looking to improve their English vocabulary. So, let's get started and explore what home ownership rate really means. The home ownership rate refers to the percentage of homes that are owned by the people who live in them, as opposed to being rented. It's an important indicator of economic health and personal wealth in a country or region. When we talk about this rate, we're looking at how many families or individuals have taken the significant step of owning their home outright or are in the process of buying one. Understanding the home ownership rate helps us grasp the economic stability of a community or country. A high rate often indicates a prosperous economy where people can afford to buy homes. It also suggests a stable housing market. On the other hand, a low home ownership rate might indicate economic challenges or a preference for renting over buying. This rate can influence government policies, affect the real estate market, and even impact the overall economy. Several factors can influence the home ownership rate. These include economic conditions. Strong economies with low unemployment rates tend to have higher home ownership rates. Interest rates. Lower interest rates make borrowing more affordable, which can increase the home ownership rate. Government policies. Tax incentives for home buyers or housing subsidies can encourage home ownership. Demographic trends. Changes in the population, like an increase in young adults or immigrants, can affect the rate. Calculating the home ownership rate is straightforward. It's the number of owner-occupied homes divided by the total number of occupied homes, then multiplied by 100 to get a percentage. For example, if there are 100 occupied homes in an area and 60 of them are owned by the residents, the home ownership rate would be 60%. We hope this video has shed some light on what home ownership rate means and why it's a significant aspect of understanding economic and social landscapes. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just curious about the English language and economic concepts, grasping these terms can be incredibly rewarding. Remember, Every step towards learning something new is a step towards broadening your horizons. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.